Without further ado, I'd like to introduce the cast of General Mills Presents of Quorum Spiriel. I'm Ben, and I'm King of Hot Bear Tricks. <laughs> I'm Kelsey, and I'm Queen Boshi. I'm Maya, and I'm Esther Charms. <laughs> I'm Ella, and I'm Mordecai Toast Crunch. I'm Bennett, and I'm Heyman Puff. <laughs> I'm Dara, and I'm Guard One, and I'm Crispus, and my Crispies. I'm Tolia, and I'm Guard Two, and my Crispies. My name is Asia, I'm a townsperson, and I'm Captain Crunch. My name is Brielle, and I'm a Pop Tart. Hello, my name is Tessa, and I'm Fruitless. <laughs> <laughs> Scene one, King Ahash Beatrix, Vashti, and Quaker Oats. Vashti, uh. at least think about it. When people wake up in the morning, they need a little pep in their step. Exactly, and that's why I'm giving them a being so rich and vibrant. But Vashti, bland breakfast make for bland days. As my queen, I cannot allow that kind of representation in my castle. Well then, maybe I'll be a queen at all. Scene two. Mordecai and Esther Charms. Esther, Queen Washi just left for a local whole food store. The king has been searching the entire seal at home for a new queen, and I think you're ready. But Uncle Mordecai, the king is not a health nut. My great new personality will never suit him. Most importantly, I'll know the first thing about being royal. Now, now, Esther, have more confidence. Your health benefits shouldn't stop you from becoming queen. Just don't tell him you have whole grains. Remember this phrase, and you'll be fine. Be a sweetie, not a weenie. <laughs> <laughs> Scene three, Mordecai Toast Crunch, Esther Charms, King Ahash Bear Tricks, and other cereals. Thank you, next. <laughs> oh, uncle, I'm so nervous. What if I'm not fit to be queen? I mean, what makes my ingredients any better than Captain Crunch over there? Esther, my sweet sweet Esther, you have more grace and beauty than an entire box of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, clearly not the best example right now, but you're more fit to be queen than anyone else here. Thank you, next! This is hopeless. I'm never going to find a queen. Next! Your Royal Highness, my name is Mordecai Toast Crunch, and I would like to present my niece, Esther Charms. Well, hello there. <laughs> Your Highness, it is a pleasure to meet you. Tell me, Esther, why do you think you should be my queen? Well, I'm full of... Agreed, that's exactly what I need with my queen be. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Queen <laughs> Esther Charms! <laughs> Scene four, the townspeople and Mordecai. Reign of terror must end. He keeps offering the people free cocoa puffs. Now I have seven cavities. Something must be done. He can't just let him get away with this. We need to make him suffer. I know. What does King Ahash Beatrix hate more than anything else? Hmm. I know. Bran. Flakes of Bran are Ahash Beatrix's nightmare. Let's infest his house with muffins. <laughs> what does that even mean? No. We need something even more unpleasant to take down the king. I mean, I know a lot of people who ate bread muffins, just saying. No, you people! <laughs> they hate soggy cereal. That's what we'll do. We'll drown the king in milk so it becomes soggy and unappetizing. <laughs> oh no, I must inform the king at once. <laughs> <laughs> Scene five, Mordecai, the guards, and the king. Please, I need you to the king immediately. It's an emergency. No one sees the king without an appointment. 
but it's urgent. The king is in danger. I overheard two people plotting to drown him in milk and make him soggy and unappetizing. How horrible! What kind of milk? <laughs> um, I don't know, cow's milk? <gasps> the king only, you know. That's the highest. This is the highest act of treason. King only drinks sorry or almond milk. But he secretly lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> why King Ahush Bear Tricks so served to turkey on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Wait, that's not the point. We have to save the king. <laughs> Scene six, King Ahush Bear Tricks and Haley Potts. <laughs> Well, King, if you'll let me, I have an idea that can make this town better than you could ever imagine. Picture this, one giant sugar cereal. It promotes unity and sweetness. I mean, just imagine everyone all together in one big bowl is the sweetest cereal in the world. Yes, yes, I like it. Make it happen. Scene seven, Mordecai, the townspeople, and Haman Pop. All right, everybody, listen up. Today we will be doing something so historic, so magnificent, and so sweet. Oh, are we finally getting enough to in the town square? No, we're... Are we going to finally settle the debate on which is poured first, milk or cereal? No, that would be ridiculous. We're... No, that would be ridiculous. Okay, listen to me. Today, we are going to create one giant sugary cereal. The purest of puffs, the finest of flakes, and the most captainy of crunches, if you will. Let's go create the sweetest cereal ever. <laughs> cinnamon gone to your head, I'm ordering you to go to that bowl. But I'm not all sugar, I have whole grains too. And I was willing to look past that. <laughs> <laughs> but I must stay true to who I really am. I'm not merely Mordecai Crunch, I'm Mordecai Toast Crunch of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch family. Your stubborn attitude is unacceptable and it simply won't allow it. Get out of my sight. And mark my words, you will never see this town again once I'm through with you. Scene eight, King Ahash Beartrix and Haman Pop. King, I'm afraid I have some terrible news. There are cereals in this town that refuse to, I'm so angry I can't even say it. What is it, Haman? They, they refuse to. What? They refuse to obey your leadership. They question your sugary campaign and laugh in your face. Okay, technically that's not true, but I have a secret agenda, you know. You can't become all Beatrix number two without a little treachery. Um, <laughs> I think they need to be punished, with your permission, of course. Scene nine, Haman Puffs, <laughs> Mordecai, and the other cereals. It has come to my attention that there are cereals in this town that refuse to participate in the collaboration of this cereal. Well, I am here to tell you that there is a new age on the horizon. This new era will not be burdened by the carbohydrate dread of wheat and fiber. No, sweetness above all else. Thus, on this day, I issue forth a message from the king himself. All cereals which contain both grains and sugar face an expiration date of the 13th of a dawn. In other words, they're brand. I, I mean banned. Any questions? <laughs> Serialistly. <laughs> Come on, that pun looks fabulous. <laughs> Scene 10. Esther, Mordecai, and Pop-Tart. Esther, Esther! Uncle Mordecai, what is it? Old grain, wheat, sugar, rice flour, and or canola, bran oil. 
Fruit juice, not the next ring. Um, Uncle, you okay? No, Heyman is trying to change our spook expiration. <laughs> Who won't obey his orders? That means me too, but I'm the queen! That's right, Esther. That means it's up to you to save everyone. You have the power to stop this. This guy's a real pop tart. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Scene 11 King Ahash Beatrix. Ooh, there's a new message on this cereal box Unsung Heroes. Last week, Mordecai saved the king's life. He overheard two people talking about their plot to drown the king in milk. Mordecai rushed to tell the guards at the king's castle, and the two were stopped in the nick of time. The criminals are now serving a life sentence at five and one apples. How did I not know about this? This man's a hero and deserves to be treated as such. Oh, hey, man! <laughs> Oh, you're too kind. Um, I think you should, I mean him, wear your royal robes and your crown. Oh, and let him ride your royal horse as well. Okay, then. I'll leave it to you. Tell, get Mordecai and let him wear my robes and crown and guide him through town as he rides my royal horse. Coming through, coming through, the great hero Mordecai, coming through. Thank you, thank you. It should have been me on that horse. <laughs> Scene 12, King Ahash, Beatrix, and Esther. King Ahash, Beatrix, King Ahash, Beatrix. Wow, that's a mouthful. Please, have to help. What is it, my queen? The whole great heroes refuse to obey Haman. <laughs> and now he's changing their expiration date to the 30th of the dark. Not to worry, my queen. I will take care of this. Although, have you ever had stale cereal? It's delicious. I love having. No, I'll have fairy tricks. Go! Okay, sorry, I'm going. <laughs> Scene 13, Haman and the Serial Look, all I'm saying is that even though Pop-Tarts are not a cereal, we would make this collaboration so much sweeter. Sweet and we can be together. Do you even go here? Well, no, but I just have so many feelings. Get lost, Mr. Strudel. <laughs> 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 you must be joking, King. I was just trying to make things a little sweeter here. For a while, I was completely on your team. Sugar always seemed like the seasoning for her happiness. But you threaten my wife and her healthy brethren. Why can't Wheaties be sweeties? Hey, that's my line. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hanging with Snap, Crackle, and Pop doesn't seem too shabby. You wish. You'll spend the rest of your life with them hearing the Snap and the Crackle. You'll never know when the pop is going to happen. <laughs> no! no. <laughs> Snap! Crack up!